Hi everyone, today I want to talk about why I prefer to draw benzene like this. You can see I draw it with six carbon atoms arranged in a cyclic structure and three alternating double bonds. You may also see people draw benzene like this. I've replaced the double bonds with the circle in the middle. And now I never draw benzene like that. My professors actually hated that structure and told us to never draw benzene with the circle. But recently, one of the new students I started tutoring has only been drawing benzene like that. And that got me thinking, hmm, I wonder if she's even seen it with the double bonds. And so I asked her, hey, how many double bonds does benzene have? And she answered, benzene doesn't have any double bonds. It just has a circle bond. Oh, I couldn't believe it. And this is not her fault. This is her teacher never showing her a different way of drawing benzene. She'd only ever seen benzene drawn with a circle. And that's why I wanna make this video. I wanna to explain to you why as a tutor and a teacher, I will not draw benzene with the circle in the middle. Benzene has the chemical formula C6H6. That means it contains six carbon atoms arranged cyclically with alternating double bonds and one hydrogen bonded to each carbon atom. And we can represent this without showing all the atoms using a line structure, just like this. And now it would be only half of the story to stop drawing benzene there because benzene has resonance. Resonance refers to the fact that benzene resonates between these two structures. Now let's hone in on the difference between these two structures. Notice how the double bonds have shifted one carbon over. So we can see that benzene has two resonance structures. They both have the exact same chemical formula. The only difference is the position of these double bonds. Now, how is this possible? Well, the benzene ring is planar with a conjugated pi system. These properties allow for the movement of electrons through that pi system. The movement of those electrons is visualized by shifting those double bonds. So we have these two resonance structures, but which one actually represents the right way to draw benzene? Well, the truth is that benzene exists as a hybrid between these two resonance structures. So it's not one or the other, it's both. So how do I know this? Well, all the bonds in benzene are of equal length, and that's how we form this hexagon structure. But how does this make sense? Double bonds between carbon atoms are about 134 picometers in length whereas single bonds are about 154 picometers in length. So how are the single bonds and double bonds in benzene the same length? The only way this is possible is if the bonds are actually hybrids, a mix between double and single. And I can represent that these bonds have both single and double bond properties using a dotted line like this. And it's from this structure that we can see why we would draw benzene with a circle. The circle represents the resonance between both of benzene's resonance structures. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with drawing benzene like this, if you understand resonance. But that's the catch. Teachers and tutors, you can't draw this structure of benzene if you haven't taught your students about resonance because you can't expect them to understand where that circle is coming from. And so the best solution to this problem is to just draw benzene with alternating double bonds. And now, of course, this is just my opinion. So let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. I would love to have this discussion because that's what it is. It's a discussion on how we can best teach students organic chemistry which is something I'm always trying to get better at. Anyways, thanks for listening, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya!